we've got to address this. Communications strategies have to be put in place. We have to develop solutions. We can't continue to talk about this and not take action so that we don't lose more independent providers and we don't have more people going into financial uh, crisis. For the whole month of July, from July 1st on, I wasn't paid at all. I didn't get my first pay from the Molina, it was in August, first week of August. So right now, my bills I'm paying are last month's bills. I have small children, I have a one-year-old, I have a three-year-old, I have a seven-year-old. I have to pay for their schooling, their diapers, everything on my own. But I can't look them into their eyes crying, saying, you know, we can't have this or that because mommy's not getting paid. I was told I would not be paid but once a month. For me personally, this is not feasible. Unfortunately, I had to make the decision based on misinformation to leave my full-time job. I felt I was abandoning my client after 10 years. They've used topics such as uh, we are taking care of all these problems, they're getting solved in their current, but there needs to be more training. But the bottom line here is we still have people that aren't being paid in a timely fashion. 